Hello, hello everybody, this is Kiru Show here. Now then, whenever we last left off, there were some events happening. Now, what I mean by some events is that Yuzuki actually split up into multiple different forms of herself. Balance, happiness, love, bravery, wisdom, rudeness, rage, sadness, and sor- bleh. And I believe I did say shyness. Or, and also sadness. So there are actually more than there are listed here. Now, with that being said, back at Izuki's home, there is one thing happening. Every single Izuki is trying to do their own thing. Rage is sparring with Trigon while Rudeness is in the kitchen, if not just being lazy while Wisdom is reading a book in the study. Bravery is trying to work on martial arts, but love and happiness are just, well, happiness is just trying to hang out with Inko and talk with her more, well, ugh. love is just taking the world around her even more. Now, this is a bit more difficult because Momo and Todoroki, they're just watching this shit show happen. It's basically like a bunch of children in a funhouse running around. So, this is going to be very difficult to manage. Now, Balance and Wisdom are actually talking and they're trying to figure out exactly how they're supposed to get back together. While Rage is just doing exactly what she does. Beating the shit out of everything until it will either work again or stop doing what it does. So, Wisdom and Balance are trying to figure out a couple solutions as they are both meditating and actually going through different forms of books. Basically having them float around each other as they are somewhat just talking and floating in front of each other. Going through more and more, they are trying to find solutions. They would eventually find one while Shyness is trying to help. She would have actually held up a book that they dropped, and as soon as it would begin to float up into the air, she would have immediately just ran out of the room. Now, while that happened, Momo, she was talking with them. She was talking with happiness, as happiness is getting sidetracked. Actually doing one thing that she never thought Izuki would do. She's making a bracelet. She's making friendship bracelets. Now, Momo, being a bit confused, but understanding what this is, she would just keep her occupied at the time. By making her and Love actually do this. While Bravery is trying to mess with Rage. And actually fight her. Ooh. Now, Shyness, she is participating in the events. Well, she's trying to participate in the whole thing at the table, finding that it's more difficult for her. Now, eventually, after some time, Bakugo would come by, because he did actually ask Aizawa where her house was, because he did want to thank her for saving him. Now, Aizawa would have gotten permission from Izuki's parents, and they need help. Now, whenever he does walk in, he exactly sees what's going on. With the fact being Inko and Hisashi are trying not to pull their hair out. And are very frustrated. Eventually coming to a point where love, she immediately runs over to Bakugo and immediately greets him. As she pulls him into the house, showing off the utter madness going on. He's a bit more confused as Bravery and Rage are fighting in the backyard while these two, bleh, there's two in the study and the rest of them are at the table. Asking Momo and Todoroki if they are okay. No, we're far from okay. We've been like this for a couple hours. 
Um, you guys do know that today is, as you list off the day, finding that it's been three days since they've been doing all this. Oh, no. Now, with that, Ray would have eventually come over as she would have finally gotten the news about what's going on with Yuzuki and see exactly what's happening. Joining in on the madness, she would eventually be pulled in and have to help. As balance and wisdom, they would finally come out of the study. Explaining that they have a situation, or they at least have one way to help. Finding that this will be the biggest challenge. So, they need to do one thing. As she immediately just waved her hand in for the other ravens, Bravery and Rage reluctantly following. <sighs> now, Rudeness, she doesn't really care, but she would be told to come in anyways, as they would all do so. Eventually, finding that Wisdom and Balance, they have set up a circle. Well, Sinus, she helps. Well, she helped a little bit. The book that they actually did not look at had some information. That could help. There are reports of different psychological factors with quirks that could do something similar to this. But the, getting us back together, that's the hard part. So what do you mean it's the hard part? Shouldn't that be the easiest? Rage, calm down. <sighs> this is annoying and you are pissing me off. I could be spending the time fighting outside. You know, I'll have to agree with her on that, but exactly what are we doing uh, doing here? Well, you see, as balance and wisdom would we'll just go back and forth saying that this is essentially how they could put each other back together. Which they somewhat don't want to do. Finding it to be more difficult, this is when her balance would just get more annoyed. As her and Wisdom, they're talking even more. And one simple thing would happen. As soon as these two make physical contact with each other, they would begin to turn into one person. As everyone's in shock, it would emerge that balance and Wisdom have turned into one. Showing that she does keep the composure, but she is wise. Now, as soon as that happens, Rage, she would have immediately just somewhat backed away. Actually, somewhat scared of what just happened. This means they are possibly going to be able to, actually. But it's a bit different. Now, Balance would just say that this is not what she expected. Actually, this is quite the opposite. Oh, no. Hang on. As she would immediately pull off a book, grabbing it in her hand and going through it even further. Finding that the right solution is actually a bit more different than they even thought. It's not that they have to force each other together, it's that they have to come together willingly. Now, Bakugo, he is somewhat watching all this happen. Bakugo is watching all this happen, and he's a bit confused. As love would do one simple thing. She would immediately turn her head and somewhat make Bakugo a bit confused. As they would all come running out of the study, happiness and love immediately grabbing Bakugo. They just plant a kiss on each one of his cheeks as they do run outside making it a bit more difficult for Wisdom and Balance to try and figure out find them. Shyness has stuck around, which, albeit reluctantly, would happen with one simple thing. Hap bleh. Balance, she would just kneel down to the ground as she does sit next to Shyness, explaining that things will be okay and that this is not going to be the end. 
In fact, we're all part of her. In order to make her, she needs us. So we needed to be there for her. Which she would have accepted. Willingly rejoining with them. As you now have... Hmm. I'm trying to picture the color that they would actually have their cloak be, but I can't figure it out. Let's just say it's a lighter shade of white. And closer to yellow. As Inko is trying to figure this out. Now, rudeness. She would have been easy to find, so... Trying to convince her that this is what they need to do. Albeit difficult, eventually would happen. As bravery, she is not going down without a fight. Her and Rage are actually joined together as love and happiness would do the same. Their predicament is a bit more solved, but now they have three ravens. That are even more confused. One that's really happy, one that's just insane, basically. And another that might as well be considered the real one. Since she is able to control and try and manage her emotions. Now, love and happiness, they're running around the house, and they're actually using their quirks to somewhat get away. Knocking things over and making things more difficult for her. As we'll cut to the next week. After that whole event, they've somewhat been able to talk with one another and actually try and figure things out. Reluctantly not getting back together, but just staying around. Not trying to force it, since that could put them back at square one. Now, these three are actually talking, and this is whenever Balko would come over again. Trying to help and figure things out, as he would do one thing. As soon as he walks through the front door, Rage would immediately pull him outside to spar, trying to get a good handle on where his power would lie. Along with the fact that, as soon as they get done with their sparring match, she gets angry that he didn't use his enhancements. Which would be whenever Bakugo, he would admit that using the enhancement part of his quirk, it broke his arm, which Rage, she would immediately somewhat look away at. Bakugo picking up on this, he would just ask her exactly why that the why is it so bad he can't use it? Well, if you can't use All Might's quirk, then as she would immediately just bring her hands up, covering her mouth, realizing that she what she just said. Bakugo being confused and immediately realizing that she knows All Might's secret, would just ask how he well, how does she even know? Which is whenever love and happiness merge together, we just walk up behind him and immediately grab him, saying that of course they know. All Might was all, bleh, all Might offered it to us first. Huh. Well, it's, I'm guessing it's a good thing you guys didn't accept his offer. Yeah, it really is. I'm guessing something weirder would have happened. How much weird? The how much weirder? Well, Balance said that it would probably be, I don't know, every separate emotion you can feel. And apparently that's a lot. I'm guessing so, yes. Now, with that, they would all be continue talking. Until we will cut to the end of the two week period with Izuki actually being allowed to participate in the sports festival, albeit in three separate entities. Now, basically this means that this can be classified as a duplication quirk, so it is at least allowed. With the fact that they've at least gotten it to the point where there's not seven to eight of them running around. Only three. Now then, with that being said, this is whenever they yeah. This is whenever Bakugo he would walk up on stage and give the explanation that his quirk is dangerous and a lot of people 
have thought of him to be a villain. With that, he's also learned to gain control over it and try and figure things out. Now, since he is considered to be a villain as he would bring his fingers up, people never thought he'd make it to UA. Well, to those of you who are watching right now, as he would just immediately give the finger, saying that he's not a villain and he never intends to be one. Besides, I'm pretty sure my quirk's not the only one like that. As he would just say, plus ultra. As, as people somewhat cheer him on. Now, while they are cheering him on, Izuki, she's actually looking over at Bakugo. She would see that Bakugo, he is still somewhat reserved about using his power because she does see him look at his hand and somewhat spark it up for a second. He is still trying to figure this out, exactly how is he supposed to use his quirk. Now, she's actually trying to think of a good way to do this, and she's realizing that Bakugo may not know how to use all Might's quirk. He's never had an enhancement quirk before, so it would make sense. He's somewhat overclocking his body. Going over the natural percentage. So it actually is feasible that he needs to tone himself down. Figuring out how to do so would be a bit more difficult. As she is trying to think more about this. Well, bravery and rage mixed together, along with happiness and love, they are just looking around, trying to figure out exactly what to do. Happiness is looking around for new friends, while bravery is looking for people to punch. Now, oh, the race will begin, and... Oh, we will be watching in shock as... These three immediately take off running, as Todoroki and Momo, they would do the same. Todoroki somewhat encased in the entire area in ice, while these three would just break through it immediately and fly away. It would be told by President Mike and Aizawa that after an incident during the event, one of their students essentially unlocked a new ability. This ability being akin to duplication, and or related to an empath ability. But its drawback is that she breaks up into different emotions. In fact, I do believe there was more of them, correct, Aizawa? There was a lot more of them. But it does seem that she's at least able to control the, control these. So it's not all bad. Now. Oh, eventually at the end of the race. Hmm. Now, eventually, at the end of the race, this is whenever Izuki would come in first. While bravery and rage are somewhat celebrating, Izuki doing the balance and wisdom doing the same, you have happiness and love who are just cheering them on, if not congratulating them for the win. Which people are still confused on. They all seem like they're different people, but they're the same. Although this might be part of the drawback, they might gain their own identity when they split. So it kind of makes sense that this is the drawback. In fact, that it's even this big. Now, I do want to say, Momo... She would have... Uh, Momo or Todoroki would come in second place, but since Bakugo does have his explosions boost and Ant, I do want to put him in second. Since him, Todoroki did have to fight for first place. For the sake of this, let's say Todoroki comes in second, since his quirk, he's a lot stronger physically and with his quirk. Obako is too. But not to the point that you would think someone with his type of quirk is at. Now, with that being said, this is where things do change in the timeline. Whenever it's told that Uzuki has 10 million points, Everyone, somewhat avoiding her, Bakugo would just walk over to her, along with Momo and Todoroki. They would say that obviously, she's going to be on a team with the rest of herself. So, 
she needs to pick someone who can be an ally. Now, Baku, he would have walked over and done the same, as he knows exactly why she's able to do all this. Now, he would have gotten picked, which kind of confuses everyone, as she would just say that she has a little theory about his quirk. Bakugo actually listened to this as he is the writer. He would have gotten on top with a bandana, or the headband, not bandana, and actually told by Uzuki that his enhancement quirk, you're throwing out as much power as you can, right? Yeah. So, I have a theory. Can you, Are you able to hold back? No, I just turn it on and turn it off. Is that what I'm supposed to do? That sounds very ineffective. Try going through your whole body. Or at least letting it go to your entire arm. As Baku would just charge up one for all in his arm. Everyone watching as he's doing so, his arm somewhat crackling with a bit of sparks. Now, as he's doing this, Izuki would just say to turn it down, or just try holding back. As Baku's thinking about this more, he eventually does, after a second, turn his arm down to at least 15% of one for all, as he does throw a massive punch. Doing this would have actually sent a couple of people flying through the shockwave and surprise present Mike. As Izuki would just think that that worked, as they would begin to fly around. They're flying around, and eventually Baku would come to the solution that this actually does work. But he's only using it in that one arm. So he's basically just bulldozing his way through by swinging that hand around. It being very ineffective and difficult, but working in the progress will process now. As soon as that happens, the match will be over as Izuki still has, well, Izuki's team does still have the 10 million points. Bakugo being very excited that he at least now has a bit of control. As soon as he gets let down, this is whenever Love would do one simple thing. She would plant another kiss on his cheek, saying that they actually won, they won, as she's getting super excited. Now, Baku somewhat blushes a bit, as he didn't even think that he can control it, let alone win with that. So, he's guessing Todoroki's team didn't attack them, because, well, the points would have been so high, but they would have put a larger number on their own head. So it does make sense. Even then, the Izuki's team is friends with theirs, so that may have given them a bit of an edge, so they wouldn't have gotten attacked. Yeah, well, also one thing. What? As he would have turned his head to bravery. During the, the, during the actual battles, you better not hold back on us. Wait, how are you all going to be able to fight? Well, it's a bit more difficult than that. Only one of us is allowed in each round, but if that person loses, we don't continue. As Bakko is immediately in shock. They are all three fighting as separate people, but they're going to be able to, well, tag team it basically. No, as soon as we get in the as soon as we get in the ring, we can't step out or trade out, because that's considered to be an illegal move. Ah, oh, well, shit. Now, with that being said, that is where I'm going to be leaving this off of you guys, and I do hope you enjoyed the video. Have an amazing day.